What's up guys, Mason here, and today we are going to be doing a video. Um, I'm sorry I haven't done a video lately. I've been pretty busy with school, because as you know, school started, and it's been kind of sucky. So, I'm going to take this hat off, because you can't see me at all. But, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I haven't been uploading because of school, and it has been about a week since I've been uploading. Also, I'm going to start streaming on Mixer. My mixer name is Too Swiffy for You. No spaces, no caps. Just Too Swiffy for You. And two is just a two, and then a U, and then Swiffy, and then a four, and then a U. So I do live streams on there. So if you want to go check that out, I'm getting a um, I'm getting a face cam for Christmas, and I'm also getting a gaming chair for Christmas, and a new controller, and new headset. So yeah. Right now, I probably won't stream that much, but go ahead and leave a follow on my Mixer channel. Mixer is a pretty cool app. It's basically the same thing as Twitch. Sorry about the cars going by. But yeah, it's basically the same thing as Twitch. So if you want to see that, then yeah, go leave a follow. But in this video, guys, basically we are going to be looking at some tackle that I found in some tackle boxes. So yeah, we're going to be looking at them. Um, I haven't really looked in these tackle boxes at all, but yeah, let's see what's in them. Alright guys, so basically, the first tackle box we're going to be starting with today is the small black one. So let's go ahead, pop it open. See what we have in here. Oh, okay, there it is, pretty cool. Basically to start off, we have a bag. Oh, this isn't even a bag, what is this? Okay guys, so I'm gonna let that focus in. This is like some sort of, I don't even know, like some sort of weird lore with some rusty old treble hooks, so this is going to trash, I don't need that. What is this? I don't know what this is. Assembled in Mexico. Oh, it's a flashlight. See? Yeah, that's a flashlight, guys, it's pretty neat. Oh yeah, it still works a little bit, see? When I press the button really hard. That's pretty cool, guys. Okay, so there's that. And then we have some little metal thing. I think it's like a razor blade holder. Okay, so that's cool. We have a big old treble hook. That's really big. It's pretty cool. And some weights, which I will not be using because I'm pretty sure these are lead weights and you're not supposed to use lead weights. This is a really old tackle box, so. This is a weedless hook. So basically it's what this is for, if you've never seen one, if you've never bass fish before. Is what you do with these is you this thing right here keeps it so your hook does not get caught in the weeds it kind of protects it it's like a weed guard so yeah that's pretty cool so that's for bass this i'm not sure what this is i think this might have been made huh? by, by like the person who had the tag box so that you can see that definitely that focuses in that does not look like it was made by the owners who made this at first. So I think that was like broken something and he just fixed it up. So that's pretty cool. We got this. This is a, oh, that's actually a nice lore. This is a really cool lake called Fish Lake and blue and white, or gray, I mean, sorry. Works really good. It's called the Lloyd Spoon. All right, guys, so that's pretty cool. The Floyd Spoon. Got some more weedless hooks. Be using those. Got some little screwdrivers and an Allen wrench. Another screwdriver. This is also another little screwdriver here. It's pretty cool. And then we've got another silver lure with some red up here. That's pretty cool. Um, I probably won't be using that because it's kind of old. If you hear a loud noise, it's coming from the farmers across the road, so that's my bad. Oh, this is nice. Whatever this is. That's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. You got the beads here and the gold spinner. And then you attach, like, a line and then a hook at the end of this and a big old chunky worm on there. So that's pretty cool. And we got another old spinner thing with a treble hook on the end. Might use that. For some trout. I don't know. We'll see. Well, that's pretty cool also. We've got some more um, <coughs> screwdrivers. Oh, look at this. Got some old, like, 
line for trolling, I'd say. And then, oh wow, it's a lot of hooks. Let me use some of these. Some more hooks. What is this? What is this? I have no idea what this is. It has like springs right here. I don't know. It's pretty different. It's probably going to trash pile too. Um, just some more hooks. Those are actually kind of rusty, so we're not going to use these. Let's go to the trash pile. And then we've got more hooks. Oh, some more hooks with blue line. Look at that, guys. That's weird. It has a blue line. That's pretty cool. And then we've got a bunch of different sized, um... Swivels, I'm sorry they're called. <laughs> and then another spinner with some orange beads. And yeah, that's it for this tackle box, guys. So we're, next we're going to move on to whatever's in here. Plus, I'm not sure which one of these I should pick, but yeah. Oh yeah, I'm also going to look at this reel. Okay, guys, so I literally just slid this tackle box to the side. And it is so freaking big and heavy oh i can't wait for this guys it's gonna be so awesome i just realized that i've had my camera rotated to upwards instead of to the side so this can't i'm not gonna look good. you're gonna have to it's gonna not gonna look good let's just say that at first but what what in, what is this why who does this who does this guys a bobber straight attached to a grub no bueno i do not like that but that's still a nice little grub and a pretty nice ball that we can use. So, yeah. Thanks, whoever owned this before me. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Oh, that's actually really cool, guys. Look. Um, if you've never seen these before, this is a spoon called a daredevil. Oh, try not to get hooked. But that is a daredevil. As you can see, a little devil guy on there. And then another random spoon. Oh, wait, that's another daredevil. We've got three daredevils here. And then flip this over, and oh wow, that's actually really cool. Let's, okay, let me balance this camera just like this. And there we go. Hope you guys can see this alright. But this. Ah! Basically, I'm not gonna unhook these right now because it's gonna take forever, but it's that thing. That's pretty cool. So now, let's go ahead. And keep searching, boys. I love this so much. This tackle box is literally huge. A bunch of weights. Lit. I'm not going to go through as much because it's going to take forever if I do. And I'm never going to get to finish this in time. So, take these out. Some more plain just lures. But still, good lures that I can use. And I will use. Ted Skikes Minnow Rig Kit. I'm guessing there's other stuff in here now, but apparently it's a minnow kit. And there's treble hooks and some leaders, so that's cool. Open this up, and oh, wow, guys, look. This is actually super cool. It's like an old, like, it's, you know how people have, like, digital, like, you catch a fish, and, you know, you hold it like this, and it pulls the thing down. Well, that's how they used to be in this, so look. They pull it down. This can go up to 12 pounds. That's actually pretty cool. So, yeah. Basically, you pull it like this, and it pulls down on however heavy it is. I'm not sure how accurate the readings will be. But, yeah, we'll have to try that when we catch our fish. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And this is one of the things I'm most interested about. Like, this is honestly really cool. So, I think this guy made these. These look homemade. So, you got the swivel and a big, huge spinner. You got the beads. This is all, like, really tough line. And then right here, you have, like, a metal leader. Actually, this whole thing is a metal leader. Yeah, this whole thing is metal leader. And there's two of these big old spoons. And at the end is where you attach your hook. And your big old light color. So, that's really cool. This is... What is this? A... X. Oh, this is some type of putty. I'm gonna open this. Some type of fast stick XOV putty. Don't need that. Now, we're gonna... I have three 
hooks that I just found in here. Wow, this is, oh my, that's a really not good lure. Listen to that. That is a like super lightweight, it's like a feather. Oh my gosh, look, can you see me with my phone? <laughs> but that's going to the trash pile. This is not, I'm gonna clean this up. This is basically like a super duper. If you ever see one of these, they're called super dupers. They're like, they dip really good. They're basically like a flat spoon. Oh, it has a red dot, that's cool. But yeah, these are really good and I'm gonna keep these for my lake fishing. Some old gross foamy block with some hooks in it. And again, let's go bro. Another one of these big things just like this. So those are getting kept, but I don't need this. I can go away. Oh, whoa, this is neat. So we have this old line, which I will cut off and replace the swivel and all that stuff. But I'm gonna put a new treble hook on this. And this will actually be a pretty nice lure. So I'm gonna clean these up and I'll probably show you guys when I clean them up. Like I'll do them before and after. This is a really heavy bunch of lures, or not lures, um, weights. But again, lead, not using, so, trash pile. Oh, it's gonna take so long, guys. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, so we have this thing, another daredevil, and two of whatever these are. They're pretty cool. I'm gonna untangle these again later not right now that'll take way too long for the video i don't want to waste your guys' precious time okay okay now i've seen these before i don't know if you guys have ever seen one but i have one just like this but a lot less rusted and it's oh wait that's not even rusted it's just dirty oh sorry i had to look at it that's really cool so that's a keeper Got another one of these with a red dot, but orange. It's cool. Okay, a bunch of stuff we don't really need to talk about because it's really not interesting at all. Well, one of these. And now, a bunch of miniature super dupers. A whole bunch of them. Let's go there. Another super duper. Let's go there as well. What is this? really nice tech box actually i might keep this for myself another little trolling lure i can also cast this in fast water that just broke i'll put that back in oh that's a nice one and then another one without the eye pretty cool i'll slide that back on in a second oh that's a bigger that's a flasking wobbler it's called that's nice okay Open up this next column and oh my lord, spark plugs, what the heck? Okay guys, so we have this thing which I can't seem to get out. It's pretty cool. And I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a bunch of hooks. And then, oh, oh no way. <gasps> no way. Okay, give me a second guys. I gotta get all these out. Oh. My gosh, okay. You're not gonna believe what I just found. Look at all these, bro. A bunch of flies. They're all stuck together. I need to get them out, but. A bunch of flies. Really nice flies, too. It's like handmade. Wow, look at this one. Let me just get them up so you can focus on them. Look at that. Okay, we got some. Oh, there it fell out. Got some line, some green line. Got some swivels and stuff. It's gonna be really useful. Another part going by. Oh, that's nice. This is one of those other Max Action lures. Pretty cool. Got this for some reason. <laughs> Don't know why that's in there. Another Max Action lure bit different than the last one and oh what the heck the 
That's different. This is like a actual freaking pearl lore with some like steel leader or plastic leader. What the heck? I don't know. Different. Um, some more stuff. And oh, is this what I think it is? I don't know what this is. I thought it was like a boat key, but it's not. Okay. Oh, this is good. Actually, I've been needing some of these. These are really old, though. I probably won't even use them. I got some big old pliers with duct tape on the handles. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> um. What else? We got some bobbers. What is in here, guys? What is this? I'm guessing it's just like line. Yeah. I think it is line. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's like a. I don't know. I'll leave it in the comment section on what you think that is. Oh, this is weird. Look at this, guys. It says Obug. Oh, this is another Yozuri tank tested. What the? It's all in Chinese. Apparently, it like moves at insect form. Caution. Oh, it's just a hook thing. But okay. Floating. 70 millimeters. Okay. Okay. That's neat. Um, one of these things with a bunch of other crap hooked to it, then you get out, but this is for holding your fish when you catch them. So, and then we have some wire cutter for cutting your line. And last but not least, oh, this is neat. We have some of the stuff in here, but it's really not that interesting, so I'm not even gonna show it to you. But this is pretty cool. It's for the side of your boat to hold like your fish holder, or not your fish holder, your pole holder for trolling, stuff like that. That's pretty neat, just a small little carry around one. But yeah, guys, so I've had a lot of fun making this video. Oh my God, I completely skipped all this. There's a whole nother thing. But we'll just take, what is browser's, what the? What the? My goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little size comparison, guys. This is the super dupers that we found in the tackle box. This is one of the super dupers I just found. It's freaking huge. Look at this thing. I'll do a size comparison of my hand, but not including the treble hook, because, you know, don't need to go to the ER tonight. But that's almost as long. Actually, it probably is as long as my middle finger. Yeah, that's as long as my middle finger. And then, my mom just got home. We have a bunch of other stuff that I'm actually blowing out my finger. Oops. A bunch of other stuff. And yeah. This is a knife. Let's look at this thing. Oh, this is cool. This is fish knife on it. You can own a knife. So, that's cool. Press style retail works. But yeah. All right, guys. So, that's gonna do it for this video today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a sub. You guys mean so much to me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I just got done editing it. Please leave a like. And if you did enjoy, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, leave a thumbs up. And yeah, thanks for watching. By the way, a little update on something. Let me show you guys. I was able to get a real setup, which I realized I'm such an idiot. You know that that open face I showed you guys? Well, that isn't even usable because it doesn't have a actual, like, r the real part, like, this part right here, this thing. So, yeah, I put the, the weird Chinese lore on it. But, yeah, we're going to try it out possibly tomorrow. I don't know if it's, we might still be able to fish. Who knows? But, yeah, peace.